back, folks, to more Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush of Destruction! Avoiding you! Aha! Pegasus's castle! We are finally here, on our own, nothing else. Excellent, you've done well to get this far. However, in, in order to proceed, you must conquer this labyrinth. It's full of paths that neither begin nor end. You need a light to navigate this never-ending passageways. But it... But it is no ordinary light that you need. You must have the light of the spirits. Light of the spirits, hmm? Yes. You must light your way with the spirit cards. These cards that embody the spirits of your fellow duelists. Hold them aloft at, at forks in the road and let them light your way. However, you must never ask for spirit cards. You must obtain them fairly. You must win them in duels. There is no other way. Hmm. Well, pretty much what that means is we need to go to uh, all the areas. I believe they've all gone here, haven't they? Yeah, they've pretty much all gone apart from Esperoba, which I'll probably duel. But we've got to duel now all of our friends and stuff. Esper, you are first. Who are you fighting? Actually, don't tell me. Duelists don't communicate with words. We communicate with cards. Don't underestimate my psychic power deck. Bring it on, Esper. By the way, I've changed my deck just slightly. Um, none of these cards are any of the new cards, but never mind. Uh, but I've uh, gotten rid of the Ancient Elves and Fairies gift, and I've put in slightly stronger monsters. Oh, Reflect Bounder! Ouch. Okay, that's not nice. That's fairly horrible, actually. Ah, there's one of them. Rukish Empowered. And that's an Acid Trap Hole. That's fine. There you go, Mac and then Makiora gets in the, the kill there. So, yeah, I thought I'd put in a few Fiend types just in case. So I got a 1600 attack point Fiend. Thank you for the Machine Conversion Factory. You've just killed your Mechanical Chaser. It's actually a really strong car Mechanical Chaser as well. All right, let's get Revival Jam out on the field now. Yay, Revival Jam! Yeah, so, um, yeah, we got to be dueling our, we got to duel our, uh, well, pretty much our friends, pretty much, that have helped us out throughout all this time. Their decks are a lot stronger at this point in the game as well. Luckily, our deck is also stronger. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, I've also treated myself and I've got a Reflect Bound in myself, so, yeah. Just in case there's, like, a really tough monster on the field and I can use that to my advantage. There you go. PvP, you win. I don't know what you're fighting, but take my Jinzo with you. This card represents my spirit. Your fight is far from over, but pee 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 pee. I sense that you'll be fine. A duelist becomes more powerful when he has friends supporting him. So I think so. Think of Jinzo as me. As long as you have my help, you're not fighting alone. We have received Jinzo. Hey. What if we can get Kybers? Is Kyber over there? I want to duel Kyber and take a blue eyes white dragon from him. No, he's not. Damn. Of course he won't be there. He, he went to the castle, didn't he? On his own. Like a moron. Well, there's going to be no one here apart from the Domino Pier, so... Oh, they're back, are they? Alright, Mai, you're next. Duelists get to know each other through dueling. Once duelists battle, a bond develops that didn't exist before. Master Alpha, I accept your duel. Now we're battling my. There's my Reflect Bounder. Hello, Reflect Bounder. Uh, I'm not going to use you just yet. I'm going to wait. Baron of the Fiend Sword. Oh, yeah, yeah, use your Electro Whip. Go ahead. There goes your Cyber Harpy, which again is actually a fairly powerful card. Ah, Revival Jam. Brilliant. You can only take out one of my monsters. And then I can get my lovely Mirage Knight on the field and win this duel. Pretty much fairly convincingly. Ah, Cyber Harpy. Nice to see you. I also have an Acid Trapper as well. Um, nah. Nah, we'll sacrifice. I was considering using Reflect Bounder on the Cyber Harpy. It's a shot, but it's not enough damage. Maybe next turn for Reflect Bounder. Here comes Dark Magician and Flame Swordsman. And there goes your Harpy's brother. Which is actually, again, a really good card. I, I, at points when I've actually had like a Yu-Gi-Oh deck, uh, Harpy's brother's been one of the cards that actually popped into it. 
Do good. I think we've won. Yes, just barely. Like 10 points. We have won. We have defeated Mai. The capacity increased by 3. 1500 domino. Mastra, I can tell you're planning to face something huge and terrible. But you'll be fine. There's a bond between us. Even when we're apart, our hearts beat as one. This is Harpy Lady. It represents my spirit as a duelist. I'm not required to give it to you, but I want you to have it. Even though I probably have about 20 other Harpy Ladies, so I'm not really going to miss that one very much. But we have received Harpy Lady from Mai. Let's get out of the way, moron. Let's go. Okay, we'll go that way then. Screw you, lamppost. Right, what next? Italy! Let's go and see if we can find Bones. It's Bones around here. Yes, he is. Hello, Bones. I've dueled you before, Mastrath, but I've never seen you so determined. You must be prepared for an enormous duel. Okay, Mastra. I'll duel you anytime you want. Alright, Bones. You're next. Oh, and you're already dead. You are already dead to my deck. Dying Keto. I'm going to have three monsters on the field. At the st I'm going to have four monsters on the field at the start of his turn. Revival Jam. Discard Dark Flare Knight. Bring out Mirage Knight. And Dark Magician and Flame Swordsman. That has got to be one of the best hands I've ever started out with. You've lost. My second turn. Come on, Bones. For God's sakes, you have already lost. On my second turn. Revival Jam, Revival Jam, Dark Magician, Flame Swordsman, and why not finish it with the Mammoth? He didn't do anything there. Two turns, Bones. Come on. Victory! 1500 Domino as well. I lost because you wanted to win more than I did. It's easy to tell that you're preparing for a great battle, Mastrath. You have an enormous weight on your shoulders. I wish I could help you. I know. Take this card. It represents me. It's Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. I know it will come in handy. We have received Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. Pum King, the King of Ghosts. Indeed, we now have Pump King. We can move over to somewhere else. Like, is there anywhere? Is there anyone here in China? No. Okay, we can miss China completely then. That's good for me. Canada. Oh, Rex is here, isn't he? Rex, I want your cards. Looks like we can't get rid of each like each other. You're not here to watch them dig up fossils, am I right? I can tell from the looks on your faces. Looks on the fa- there's just me. Looks on the fa- can you see dead people, Rex? I don't know. It sounds crazy, but I guess we're connected to each other. I wonder why. There must be a bond between duelists. Alright, enough talk. Because action speaks louder than words. Let's duel! All right, Rex Raptor. That's very good. <laughs> vampire, double Vampire Lord. And I'm gonna put Mammoth Graveyard out as well to make sure my Mammoth, my uh, Vampire Lord comes back. Yeah, you might still be able to kill it. If that's an equip card. Oh, you still killed it. Oh, that sucks. Because now I don't think Vampire Lord comes back. No, it doesn't. God damn it. <laughs> God, God damn it, Rex. Ah. Alright. I'm not gonna play anything this turn. I'm just gonna discard Vampire Lord and do nothing this turn. This is a risk. This is a big risk. But hopefully it pays off and the game gives me my, my Vampire Lord on the field. It did! <laughs> yes. Right. I'm gonna use Z Metal Tank. Aha! Acid Trap Hole. Please don't be another Acid Trap Hole. Good. Ah, yes, a little bit of strategy there, just to try and trigger out one of his, one of his, uh, one of his trap cards. Right, that, that crawling dragon now only has 1560 attack. I can't kill it, just, but I will fortify myself with revival jams. And destroy your two-headed king, Rex, which I still couldn't kill. Right, what you got now? Oh, Harpy's Feather Duster. That's not very nice. At all. Yurabi will take out my uh, Revival Jam, and then Crawling Jam will take out the other one. Okay. Alright, alright, Rex. You're kind of beating me here. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. 
Another acid trap hole. Very nice. Okay. Um, I'm just going to play defensively and take out your strongest creature with my Vampire Lord. She has 2,600 attack points. There's, there's not going to be much you can do to take that out. There goes Yuyurabi. Darkfire Dragon. That's a lot better. A lot better to deal with. I still can't deal with it, though. Well, there you go. <laughs> Vampire Lord can deal with it. Vampire Lord can deal with everything! Yes. We can kill everything! Right. Maiden of... Wow, the Maiden actually lived it! Maiden of the Moonlight! Attack! Yeah, Darkfire Dragon, you're dead now. Baron of the Fiend's Sword. Let's bring you out here to attack some more. Right, you nearly defeated Rex. That's good. Rex has given me the biggest problem so far. My easy. Esperoba, easy. Bones, easy. Rex, though. Jeez. I think it's just because I did not have a good starting hand. But still, we have defeated Rex Raptor. Nice. That's it. You win. Master Ath, you've grown pretty strong. Don't you dare lose to anyone. I don't want anyone to think that you're weak. Not after you've beaten me. Alright, take this card. It's Two-Headed King Rex. The card that best represents me is Red-Eyes Black Dragon. Is what I'd like to say, but it's now Wheeler's card. Since the day he won it from me, I realized something. Are expensive rare cards really good for me? The more I thought about it. Take this card I have right now, it's perfect for me. It's a common card, but it embodies my spirit, because I'm common. Meh! We've received the two-headed King Rex. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and restore my life points. Because I think I need to. Run back to get my life points. No one, please duel me. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go to go here. Mastrath, I feel it too. The sea. It's afraid. The ocean is terrified. Mastrath, you are intending to fight something that can paralyze the waters to its briny deep. Yes, I'm fighting Shell, the oil company. Do not deny it. I can tell. In that case, take my spirit to battle with you. But first, you have to beat me for it, because we know the rules, apparently. Another vampire lord. Very nice indeed. Alright, Immortal of the Thunder. Discard one of my Vampire Lords. He's got mostly water cards, so Immortal of the Thunder should be more than enough. Oh, wow, it's not. Fire Kraken. And now the swords. Oh, you're gonna be a problem, aren't you? You're gonna be a pro... I don't like this very much. I don't like this at all. Fine. Come on, sacrifice it. Yes. Amphibian Beast. Right, that thing definitely needs to die. That thing definitely needs to die. Back into darkness. Get rid of it. Now, discard one vampire lord. I couldn't do anything else, so, yeah. Crazy fish. Oh, vampire lord cannot kill that. Ooh. It can with the help of that, though. With a bit of acid trap hole. Alright, I'm going to take a risk here again. Discard vampire lord. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Bugger, you killed it. I'm about to lose to Mako Tsunami here. I'm Mortal of Thunder, but there's Vampire Lord! He's back, baby! Please don't be bad. You bugger! I hate Torrential Tribute! I've lost. I just lost to Mako Tsunami. I don't believe that at all. Oh, Power of Kaishin. Yeah, I'm dead. I am so dead. I'm going to survive this turn, but that's it. All right, Mako, we'll be back. We'll be back and we will beat you. We will be back and beat you. I want to get all the spirit cards in one video, to be honest. Anyway, that doesn't matter. We didn't lose anything there, so that's fine. I didn't put up a card as an ante, so that's fine. Right, Mako, bring it on again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up, Mako. Right. Let's try this again. That looks better. Discard Vampire Lord, met Z Metal Tank in defense mode. Let's see if you're gonna play something. Fire Kraken again! Oh joy! And swords. Mm. Don't like that very much. Do not like that at all. Ah, Revival Jam. Oh, you're actually really good here, Revival Jam. 
But I think he's going to sacrifice some of the amphibian beast. That's my prediction. Oh, who's right? Who's right? Oh, it's me. Oh, nice. Very nice indeed. Right, Dying Keto, the Cure Master. The Master of Curing. And now here comes some Revival Jam action that gains a power bonus on this field. Right, we're looking good right now. Not looking the best, but we're looking good. Right, well that Kraken's gonna die. That Kraken is definitely going to die. Uh, yeah, Baron Fiend Sword. Pop you in defense mode. Right, your turn. That's crazy fish. You're then going to destroy the Baron, aren't you? Yes, oh, yes you are. Okay. Oh, come on, Mako! Sto don't be a bitch, bitch! God's sakes. Mako is going to ruin me. He's going to ruin my face. And like, the thing is, I can't Mammoth Graveyard it. Oh, crap. Mako, Mako, why are you so tough? Why are you so tough? Right, that's an amphibian beast in the face. I'm about to lose again. To Mako Su frickin' Nami. Because he has swords of reveal- Right, no, no. Screw you, Reflect Bounder. That was- Ooh, that was amphibian beast it took the damage off. Very nice. However, I'm about to take a butt ton of damage right now. I've lost this. That, that's all I can say. I've lost this. Aqua Serpent. I haven't seen that card before. Okay. Oh, what's... Th hey! Yes! We have plans! We're back! Swords are revealing shite to your face! Now I will discard Vampire Lord and summon Mammoth Graveyard. Right, we have a shot. We have a chance. We can fight back in this. Yes, Mammoth Graveyard's permanent effect. I need a Thunder type monster. I have a load of them in my deck. If I can get rid of that amphibian beast, I'll be fine. The fact is that amphibian beast needs to die. That's the problem. Right, you're going to defense. Why do I feel like that's torrential tribute you have? It wouldn't surprise me if it is. Ah, he's left that in attack mode, is he? Alright, now I don't need it. Okay. I just need. Ah, oh, damn, Vampire Lord's not strong enough. He's not strong enough! Mirage Knight! Oh. Um. Mm. Ugh. Ugh, this is, this is tough. This is a tough choice. I'm gonna go for it. That was the biggest mistake! Ah! Of course, Tor Torrential Tribute, I hate Torrential Tribute. It's such a bloody annoying card. And I guarantee to you that's a Torrential Tribute as well. Ah, oh, Mako! Go, Vampire Lord, come back! Let me guess, is that another Torrential Tribute? Oh, of course it is! Mako, your deck is an absolute ass. There you go, screw your Amphibian Beast, it's dead now. Screw your Amphibian Beast. Right. If I can get Dark Flare Knight, this draw. No, I get- Oh, Vampire Lord, he's back again! He'll never die! He'll never go away! Discard Vampire Lord. Right. You can kill Vampire Lord, which sucks. Screw your Aqua, Aqua Serpent. He's about to go out on all that offensive on me now. Which, oh no, that's an Amphibian Beast, isn't it? That's an Amphibian Beast and I've just lost. No, it's a Kariushin. I've probably still lost. No, I haven't. <sighs> what can I do against it? I can't do anything. I just can't do anything against this. I can get rid of his career sheen. But then that will fire Kraken will kill Vampire Lord. Ugh. I've lost. That's just the way it is. I've lost. It was close. Well, not really that close, but I, I still lost. Ah, Seven colored fish. Right, no. I'm gonna give it one more whack. One more whack this turn, this this uh, video, and uh, if not, we'll go for a break and I'll change my deck specifically to kill Mako in the face. Because at the moment, I don't like his Torrential Tribute Swords of Revealing Light stall tactics. Oh, can't I go first once? God damn it. I do have a Thunder type. That is nice. Right, Z Metal Tank Defense Mode. Come on, bring out your Amphibian Beast. Bring it out! 
Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Ha! Screw you and your amphibian beast bollocks. Right, now, discard Vampire Lord. Hey! Nice! He didn't get his Torrential Tribute this turn! Oh, I am so sorry! Come on! We can do this now! We can do this! Right, High Tide Gaijin, that's fine. That's okay. The fact is, that is not Torrential Tribute what he's got there, so I do not give a damn now. Now it's just pretty much taking out his monsters, taking down his life points, and getting that Spirit Card. You're not preventing me from getting your Spirit Card, Mako. Right, that... Is that... No, that's not either. Okay, that's fine as well. That's fine. That's not Torrential Tribute either. Good. Right, Rukish Empowered. You're a stronger monster than uh, Fiend, uh, Baron of the Fiend Sword, so you do a little bit of extra damage. Good. Right. This is pretty much Z-Metal Tank is saving my ass here. He's still saving my ass. Crazy Fish is not good enough. Makiora, very nice. Right, if his next turn he doesn't have a Swords of Reveal Light, a Torrential Tribute, or the Fire Kraken, I win. It's Fire Kraken. Of course it'd be Fire Kraken, right? Of course it's Fire Kraken. And I don't have anything to sort it out. Bugger. Please sacrifice it for an Amphibian Beast. Please do. Oh, he did one idiot! One absolute moron! He j Mako, you just lost! You should have kept firecracking! I had nothing to sort out firecracking! You lose! Yes! Screw you, Mako. God's sakes, that was an annoying game. I've passed you, my spirit. Just as the world's oceans are connected, our souls are united. Please, take my spirit card. It's the legendary fisherman. The sea will drown you if you show fear. It's the same with dueling. Keep fighting without fear. We receive the legendary fisherman. And that, I believe, is going to be the end of the episode. I was going to face Weevil as well, but no, can't do that because Mako was being a bit of a bitch, bitch. But anyway, guys, we're going to go for a break here. But in the next episode, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Rishi after Destruction. We will get that spirit card from Weevil and go to the castle of Solshavalski, Maximilian Pegasus, dude. I'll see you then.